to Wolf Farms. I'm Don, also known as Knit and Wolf. And I'm James, also known as Wolf Photo. This podcast is brought to you by Wolf Farms. You can find us on the internet at wolffarms.net. Uh, the scent of the month for the month of May is Coconut Lime Verbena. So if you'd like to try that out, we got it on the on sale this month for 25% off. Uh, you can, that's lotion, soap, bath salts, the works. Anything that's in that fragrance you can get for uh, 25% off. Plus we have other sale items as well. Um, l- the last couple uh, episodes we've been uh, doing a sale, or actually a, a giveaway, for our lip balms. We've been trying to get the new scents we've... Uh, had waiting to be made, and so each week we we've been... We still have quite a few. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we get them, like, oh, that sounds good. I was going through them to choose this one. Huh? I was going through them and choose yeah. this one. Yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, we've, we've kind of had a backlog of, of flavors that we've been wanting to do lip balms from, and so we've just been doing them one week at a time. So this week's uh, new addition to the shop is Cupcake. They're probably not going to focus it always. It focuses on our face. Yeah. But uh, we got Cupcake we're adding to the shop. And you can try that out for free once again. Uh, we'll continue using the same coupon code, TRYME. And uh, that's good for one week uh, from Monday, this coming Monday through Sunday n- this next week. And get that for free. Use uh, coupon code TRYME. When you order $10 or more of other items, just stick that into your cart. And when you're doing checkout, put the Try Me uh, coupon code into the coupon code area and you'll get it for free. So get that a try and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I know Dawn's enjoying mm-hmm. it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, one more one more flavor into the shop. And like I said, we probably got uh, another couple weeks of, of new flavors. Aren't we packaging this two ways? Um, yeah, we, 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 we've been talking about uh, putting this in also as the happy birthday. We have a happy birthday soap and lotion. And, lotion, and we were going to package this because this is like, it tastes like birthday cake, and then, you know, cupcake. cupcake. And so we were going to yeah. package that up to go along with our happy birthday stuff as well. So, so if you wanted to do like a whole set. A birthday, yeah, yeah, birthday gift set type thing. So, um, so it, but... Cupcake will be in there. I don't know if we'll get the happy birthday. Kind of like then. the frosting. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just like if you're biting into it. It's cupcake. making me want one of those double Oh, yeah. Cupcakes. We have a cupcake oh. plate. You know, they like they have on the Food Network. Thing well, they've they been keep, on the Food Network. Yeah, I know they won. They the, won. Yeah. Um, but uh, they have the competition between the cupcake people. Well, we have one of those places now not too far away. So mm. they're actually pretty good. Chocolate mint. Less calories. That's true. <laughs> so you can enjoy it and then, uh, you know, mm. you just apply it when you need a pick-me-up. So so anyway, so that is the new one for the week. Um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So I said $10 or more. Uh, add that in. Get it for free. Use the tri- Try Me coupon code. Yeah. I think this is going to be kind of a you you yapping podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's funny, I have like literally not much in front uh, of me on the table today, so... It's going to be a quick one. She says that every time. We'll see how far we we wing it today, so... Yep, so farm happenings. Farm happenings, that's me again, too. Um, This uh, last Friday, uh, we had gotten the concrete all poured, so um, got that ordered up, and... You know, I'm I I numbers guy, so I'm crunching the numbers. I'm like, okay, how much do I need to order? So, got it down to when we got the truck completely offloaded into the forms and everything, had about a wheelbarrow left over, and so I'm like, I ordered that just right. I was sweating because I was about ready to call in the morning and and just get a little bit more, you know. Well, because they say there's a loss. Yeah. There, well, there's always a loss, yeah. you know, you always get stuff that doesn't stay in and that's just part of the process, but, um, you know, variation and if you go a little deeper in the, you know, you try and calculate and I had already calculated in some loss and then I'm like, ah, should I get more? I'm mm-hmm. like, it's worth an extra 20 bucks to make sure I don't run short, you know? And I, no, I think I'm good. I, I really think, you know, what I ordered was good. 
And uh, so, that like, kind of sounds like when you order an extra skein, it just all <laughs> cut, you know. Well, yeah, it's just like that. It it, is. It's it, if you're. If you could order a skein, you would not order exactly what the pattern calls for. You're always going to order a little bit more, you know. And and so with the concrete, you know, I'm like, okay, this I, I'm coming up with, I need this much concrete, I'll order, you know, about eh, maybe, you know, 10%, 5 to 10% more. And then that covers any loss and stuff. But, you know, there's always some, you know, change. So, I mean, right when we got to the last spot, the truck was empty, I'm like, it worked out really well. So <laughs> I was glad. <laughs> glad we didn't come short. But and who'd you have help? Yeah, but uh, I had uh, Don's dad. He came out and helped, and then I had Farmer Jim was out there helping as well. So uh, he's never worked on concrete before. So so he's got his hands. Um, you know, his hands help make that walkway. So. He was out there checking it out You're saying, oh, it looks pretty good. And I'm like, well, you helped with that. So. Yeah, otherwise he would have never gone out and checked it. <laughs> and I'm like, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, for the most part, I, all the, the form boards come off right after the concrete's all set up. So that came off. I still got some cleanup to do. Um, you know, the the stuff that falls, you know, falls over the edge of the form, that I still need to scoop up. And then the next step will be doing the grass. <laughs> You know, so I've got a project plan out there on the the west side of the property there. So that's well, coming along, but yeah, it would actually went uh, you know pretty smoothly. Um, you know, Jimmy's never done it, so I was trying to teach him as we go, and you know, so it, it's it looks pretty good. So happy with it. One project down, <laughs> <laughs> and, and and it's funny because you know I I. I have a list of things I'm going to do this weekend, right? So I'm, so I'm crossing them off. I'm getting down. I got down to the last one, and Don goes, oh, I just added more things. So, like, I had, you know, five or six things on there. You know, there's the concrete, and there's a couple other things that needed to get done. I'm like, oh, I got one more thing to do, and I'm done for the weekend. And zoop, all of a sudden, it's like, it's like all the things that I crossed off, now I got twice as many well, now. I saw so. it getting empty, so I thought, oh, well. She's cracking the whip on me. Yeah. But, uh, well, because you, one of the things was to go and clean out your uh, fire alarms. Oh, well, yeah. I, well, it'd be a good thing to do because that's also a good time to uh, well, we changed, change the batteries. You changed, you're supposed to change the batteries every, every six months. Six months or a year, whatever. And uh, the problem is we're dusty out here in the desert. <laughs> and um, the other was this two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, of course, Monday morning, I'm heading to work. Get a phone call. How do you turn this thing off? I'm like, oh, okay. Well, when it gets dusty in there, it it, it makes this it's false alarm. God but awful. then, <laughs> but it's always right after I leave. You know, I think the last time you know mm -hmm. this happened like a year ago. We had one that went off, and it was either the battery or something. And uh, you know, it's always Monday morning after I'm gone to work. You know, it's like so that wakes you right up, huh? No, that nothing. Four in the morning, you know, your heart is just pounding. and Yeah, so I went and uh, I actually took down all of them and, and blew them out with the compressor, get all the dust and stuff out of them, and, and hopefully we don't get awoken early in the morning again. Couldn't you also use that, like, computer stuff? You could, but it's expensive. I mean, the compressor mm -hmm. works just fine. And it's, well, for it's, those who don't have a compressor is why I'm saying Oh, that. yeah, but... Yeah, it's just uh, the only problem with I don't like with the compressed can air is that it will spray out um, like frost if you hold mm -hmm. it wrong. It'll and, and you don't want to get that in the sensor because yeah. that could cause an issue with the sensor. So I just use a compressor that uh, man to man toys. <laughs> but yeah, so I just use an air compressor and I I blew it out. I actually take the lid out. You're not technically you're supposed to just replace them. You know, oh. I guess, it, <laughs> but I, you know, I can get it, I can take it apart and I'm, I'm the kind that likes to take things apart. No, I like You've to. You've done that since you were little. Yeah, that's me. I got all the broken stuff when I was a kid because then I could, you know, get all the wires. But uh, that's how I know, that's, that's how I know how things work though. So that's part of my thing. But, uh, so anyway, so we got all those cleaned up. That was another one of my many projects. Most of them are reachable by a step stool. 
There's only one in our bedroom. Because I'm short. I'm 5'2". Even with the step stool, <laughs> that is a... Well, it's it's a big reach. They're probably about you know about ten feet off the ground because they sit on our ceiling and then you know the walls are you know nine sub nine or so feet tall and you gotta you know. Well, the bedroom ones. That's yeah, the bedroom one is a different yeah. story. We have uh, it sits probably you know sixteen feet off the ground because it's up on the ceiling and it's vaulted and yeah. I get a big ladder. <laughs> I, thought, I know that one's gonna be one that. Yeah, that was that's the next one to go that off. One, yeah, I'm like whatever. that one gets the battery changed. <laughs> so, it gets the full yeah, it gets a full treatment because I I don't want to get the call at five in the morning and and so where's that ladder? Home. I'm like okay, well you have to go out, walk down the new pathway to the well house because I got the big ladder in there, out in your uh, robe. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, that so that I got that all done and then. Uh, uh, a couple of other odds and ends, mm. but then my list grew again. So it's like never a dull moment. It keeps, keeps me busy. out of tr keeps yeah. me out of trouble. Otherwise, I'd be eating bonbons and watching the TV word all day. Bored is never mentioned in our house. <laughs> <laughs> There's never time. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah, we don't uh, don't watch much TV. We don't usually have time for that. That's your knitting time, though. Yeah, in the evening. So. But and the other thing is the baby girl ducks, the baby Mallard girl ducks are all getting big. They're and, getting big, yeah. yeah. So uh, I did some uh, videoing of that. So you want to take a step outside and we'll sure. uh, show them running around there. Because we had them, well, first off, let's start here. <laughs> uh, we had them contained in a little area in the, in the duck area where we put the, all the ducks in at night, you know, to kind of keep them safe. We bring them in and... And so we had them kind of contained in that, and now we let them out. So they're out with the chickens and the turkey, um, but we don't have them with the other ducks yet. And so I think they're getting to the point where we can let them out where the lake is, because then they won't sink. Because <laughs> they, they're fully feathered now. So they, you know, they, they get in the pools and they're playing with the, you know, playing in the water and stuff, and they'll be fine. So. And all five are girls. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, we didn't do get them that out. Again if we tried. Yeah, we do that with the chickens. We always want the girls, and then we end up getting all the oh, roosters. Yeah. Just like last year, we got the cucumbers, and said, "Oh, we'll just get two. We have fifty-fifty odds. We'll get one. We'll get one. Uh, you know, one boy, one girl, or maybe we'll get lucky and get two girls. Well, we got two boys, and so we don't have the cucumber and, um Those were the chocolate egg layer, um, the really deep brown eggs. We didn't get those. Uh, we get the boys. Yep. But uh, well, let's go outside. We can uh, show you a little video of the uh, how big the girls are getting, and uh, we'll see you out there. And we're back. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, it's just warming up. Mm. Weather-wise, it was uh, it's supposed to get up almost to 100, I think, today. Yeah, it's uh, summer weather's here early. It's going to be bad, bad fire season this year. We've already had fires um, in the area. Uh, we got, like, literally no rain this winter, mm -hmm. and that's bad because then everything's dry already. So, um, 
but yeah, it's going to be a rough year for the fire firefighters because our fire season's in uh, October and we're already having bad fires. Yeah. So hang in there, guys. So. What's cooking? What's cooking? Oh, hey. <laughs> Tonight we're having beer butt chicken. Yeah. This is so good. Yeah. Even better. He can cook <laughs> I get it. I get to cook it. Um, so, so I would not stick my hand up that. Oh, you don't like touching chicken. Ugh, you have no. issues. Yeah, that's <laughs> chicken's my thing. So, um, but anyway, so I, I make beer butt chicken. Uh, you get a whole chicken, and uh, basically, uh, I take the chicken and you know, rinse it off, and then you put oil on it. You can put you know any vegetable. We I use vegetable oil. We use either corn oil or olive oil. You can. Uh, basically coat the chicken in that and then I use uh, pepper, paprika, uh, garlic salt, onion salt, uh, cilantro, and sage. And so basically I coat the whole chicken in that, rub it all in. And so that's for the outside. And then uh, we take a, a Coke can and we cut the top out of it. And then I cut up onion and I crush some garlic clove. I stick it in the can and then I pour beer into the can up to, you know, well, almost to the top. And then we take it out and we put the can inside the chicken <clears throat> and we put it in the barbecue and we set it in there uh, kind of standing up. It looks like he's partying. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> got the beer, got the food, all that going. Uh, but it goes in the barbecue and uh, I leave the temperature about, uh, I think, 300 degrees or so, right around there, 250, 300 degrees in the barbecue, and then it cooks in there for about an hour and a half, and then, mm. <laughs> so moist, and you know, that, <clears throat> having the beer inside keeps the, the chicken from drying out, and it's really, really good. You got to keep an eye on it. Uh, I know they make um, holders that hold the chicken for you for doing this type of thing. I don't. I just plop it down on a uh, folded up aluminum foil so it doesn't get all over the, the grill. <clears throat> but basically I fold up and put little uh, berm around the edge so that the oils and stuff don't cause a fire. But I set that in there. I just set the chicken on there because the can will keep them sitting. And I wrap the feet in aluminum foil so they don't stick either. But it's good. Mm -hmm. That's our summertime thing because <clears throat> I can't do it at night. Uh, in the winter because it's too dark it's hard to kind of monitor I don't barbecue well in the dark <laughs> so summer is great because it's a long day so yeah. but that's basically what you do you just cut it up when you're done and serve it and you don't taste the beer at all no I it's it's just a reason to have beer <laughs> it's the only reason we have beer in yeah. The house. yeah well that, all that reminds me uh, one of the uh, people I work with um, you know, <laughs> like, where are you going? With well, this? what's cooking? It's uh, they make homemade beer. The, oh. they, 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 the brewery, and uh, she came up to me last week and says, "Do you drink beer?" I'm like, "Yeah, I don't really drink a lot of it. You know, it's like a six pack will last me a year. I use it more for cooking, you know." And uh, I guess they brew their own beer, her and her boyfriend. And she says, "Oh yeah, we got a bunch of strawberries and stuff. We're gonna make this beer." I'm like, "That sounds kind of mm. good, strawberry beer." So they're She's probably doing it this weekend, and she says it's got. It takes like a, a month for it to set up or whatever. But so you'll have to show it when she gives it to you. Yeah, I will have to bring that in. I, I asked her if she bottles it or how she does. You know what she does when it's done. She goes usually they keg it, but then she also bottles it when she's giving it away. They don't drink beer a lot, so they end up with all this beer. They're just like doing like five <laughs> gallons. They end up giving it all almost all away, but. So I thought, no, that'll be interesting. I'm sure there's some people out there that uh, that brew their own beer too, but it'll be interesting. I'm, you know, Michelob, Genuine Draft. That's the beer I know. It's Miller. <laughs> or, oh yeah, see yeah, that's Miller. <laughs> Miller Genuine. See that's how much I, uh, I'm a beer drinker. I don't. Uh, we just don't drink. So. No, we don't. <laughs> and like I said, uh, I get a six pack, and it's almost all for the ch cooking. You know, for the beer butt chicken and stuff. Mm. But. Uh, Yes. I think we take one sip. Yeah, we, yeah, we just... That does yeah, mean. We had a Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. We had uh, margarita in the bottom. Mike's 
it's uh, how long have they been in there? They've yeah. been for me friends forever. probably last last single day while. <laughs> We're just not drinkers, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what a, a home brewed beer tastes like, yeah. especially with the strawberry. That, that sounds, sounds kind of good. We like strawberries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can only eat a couple. Yeah, I know. And it's <laughs> so. So in the coop. What's in your coop? In this is where you, I'll let you talk now. <laughs> in my coop. Well, first, let's see. I guess I'll go with this one because I only knit on this for one day. Is our uh, our ball we're having, our bim along. And I am doing the trillion. It's a Martina, ooh, Martina bim pattern. And we're doing this with the Limnet Crochet Podcast. And... Desert Vista Dye Works is also, in her group, she has a uh, thread to enter your projects too. So mm -hmm. there's a chance to win in our group, in Lauren's group, and in Susan's Desert Vista Dye yeah, Works well, yeah. group. <laughs> Multiple opportunities yeah. with one project. And this is her fingering weight in Cherry Blossom Watercolor. I guess I could do it that way. Yep. And yes, I always weigh. If you notice, there's ounces and grams, because I know I know I'm always going to have more on hers. But I, there has been indie dyers that I have gotten, and it's been short, way short. I mean, it yeah. said 100 grams, and I only got like what 89. Yeah. And so that messes up your pattern when you you know. Yeah, you need to know how much you're starting with. So. They're no longer in business, but. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why. But uh, here's the colorway. Because her patterns, you need to know the uh, Yeah, because you weigh weight. as you go. and then, Yeah, so then you know how far to go. Which is pretty cool because then, you know, it doesn't matter how much you of a skein anything. you're using. Yeah. It's not a yardage thing. It's a, you know. So I only did one night on this. You can see where my dicky do is, so... This is still reminding me of chocolate covered cherries. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like the edge. Mm -hmm. It's neat. Isn't that neat? Especially when that gets blocked out. Won't need to be too much blocked out. It's pretty much. It's sitting pretty flat already. Mm -hmm. And this is, I'm doing it on size three needles. <clears throat> so, that's in my <laughs> apple blossom bag. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. And she's donated prizes also, because Desert Vista is donating a prize skein, and then Apple Blossom donated two bags. So, yay! Lots of chances to goodies to win. And mm hmm In three different groups too. Yeah. yeah. So, join along. And then I'm knitting in my Cat Love Socks bag, which is a silver pumpkin. I am knit. Oh, I didn't even know I had the pattern in here. I had it pulled up on my. Uh, let's see if I can find the picture. Oh. Picture, picture, picture. Somewhere. It is George the Giant Squid by Jenna Krupar. And this was a gift from Blue and Ruin, which is Sadie of the Yarnivore podcast. Yep, yeah, that's there. Okay. <laughs> Yarny I can tell you can't see where it's. No, I, I was like, uh. <laughs> and uh, I did. A, I'm doing this on size four out of my spun right round fiber. Spunrightround.com. It's in the koi colorway. <laughs> Get it, fish? <laughs> Squid. Always a tie. <laughs> yeah, and it's also got orange. For the fat squirrel speaks orange along. Hmm. So if I get it done, well, this has to be done by, by June. By June. By June. That's right. Top secret. So that I is got, a lot bigger than uh, I was picturing. I, you had mentioned that. In, uh, yeah, it startled the kapui out of me, Jenna. <laughs> kapui. <laughs> kapui. <laughs> you guys thought I was going to say a bad word again. <laughs> Which I didn't say the full bad word last week. It just came out kind of close. Too close for... Don't hold your tongue and... and so this is a, a gnome <laughs> hat. <laughs> Doesn't it look like a gnome hat? Pretty much. So this is the whole body. 
Yeah, that's, it was, it's a lot Aren't bigger than I was surprised? picturing. Yeah. I, you had mentioned that. I hadn't seen how far you had gotten on that. But so. I, I only needed maybe one day on it, two, maybe two days. I think it was two days because it's killing my hand. Because yeah. I, I use a size four because it's worsted weight, but I want it tight. I don't want any fuzz, kind of the stuff feeling, coming yeah. out. And I did start one leg, and <laughs> yeah. that's when... I got preoccupied with my other project, but <laughs> distracted. So, so I, I love how that ended up striping, because I think the eyes go somewhere up here, and then he'll have little finny thingies and that you attach. And well, it's coming but, along. Yeah, good. it's big, isn't it? Yeah. I still wasn't. Ex well, from the picture, it's hard to tell. You don't yeah. have anything to gauge the size, but yeah, that definitely is bigger than I was expecting. And I call him when, Squidly on my. Uh, on my project, project page. page. So, yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Pretty awesome. Because the rest of the week, I've been obsessed with uh, oh, another project. Yeah, you, that's the one project <clears throat> I've seen in your hands every time you're sitting knitting. So. Yeah. And this is for the mustache, uh, uh, itching, mustache uh, podcast. And uh, they're having a sweater knit along. Which I think the knit girls are having a sweater knit along too, so that could be a double dipper there. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever I say double dip, I think of those vanilla ice cream cones dipped in oh. the chocolate. <laughs> Not that I can have that. This is my cloud chaser, and this is an Amy Swinson pattern that I got at Vogue Knitting Live two years ago. So. Here's the pattern. It's kind of a vest. Lots and lots of cables. And I've been having so much fun with this. Even though I mentioned last week how part of the pattern's written on one page, then you gotta switch mm -hmm. over to chart A, and then there's a chart B, but you gotta make marks because the charts aren't the same numbered amount. So yeah, there's no memorizing. Well, kind of. You can you just have to chart keep a. note paper handy so you yeah. mark where you're at. I have little post-its on each page for everything. <laughs> and this is in my Knit Picks Swish DK Marina colorway. It's a DK 123 yards a piece. And this is such... I am... Every... All of the Knit Picks I've gotten, I'm been really happy with you know it's such a great <laughs> I've just seen this fuzz on here it's such a great yarn but it, it's so gushy and you know this will be machine washable mm -hmm. yeah you're commenting on how soft it is yeah and stuff, knitting so. it and it's in the stitch definition of it, it's really really nice okay let me get this all I completed the whole back Hold that out. You can see from where last week I was at the orange dicky do. So all the way up, and I have the separation for the uh, underarms. And then last night I got to start picking up the right. Oh, my cable needles in there. The right front, and this is right where I'm going to start increasing for the arms. So, yeah, this is cool. Coming along so, nicely. Yeah, it'll I know you've been be having blocked. fun. Yeah. Because I'm like, ooh, I just want to see what's going on next. And, but, oh, I love, look at all that cabling. And it's just so pretty. This, oh. It's going to be neat. And I added an two inches, I think. Oh, that's right. You were mentioning Because it. in the pattern, it sh it's kind of like an asymmetrical so it's higher on your back and it's lower it just looked kind of dorky to me i thought mm. i'd bug the pooey out of me i'd be constantly trying to pull it more yeah. down that so i measure right up as much huh? yeah no nope. i don't want plumber back <laughs> <laughs> especially when you're in control huh? yeah and this is done on US fives is what I had gotten gauge. High highs? Oh yeah. 
I love my Haya Hayas. Yeah. They are the bestest needles in the world. <laughs> I say so. So, yep. Is that everything in your coop? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Well, my coop. <laughs> I'm working. I'm working on my goatee. See? <laughs> oh wait. Now oh, this was supposed to be in the farm happenings. We had mentioned this. This is uh, we had sheared the goats, and I forgot to show some of the fiber that came off of them. Um, this is not cleaned. This yeah. This this just came out of the bag. But um, this is I'll try and get it to focus. Where's the paper? We don't have any paper. But uh, anyway, so it's it's really. Um, this is Maddie's coat, and she's got a lot of crimp in her hair. Our other goat, Manda, is like straight, so it'd be nice to get some of this uh, cleaned up mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, spun up, but it's really soft. But, uh, yeah, nice so that's... like hair. You didn't bring none of, uh... I didn't Manda. bring... No, no, that's... Pretty, I think pretty much <clears throat> all of Manda's will need to be just... Yeah, this this you can kind of see. This is kind of what we were dealing with last week. It gets mats. matted. Just like in a cat. If you have a cat, the long hair cat, where it gets the mats. So. Yeah. So it, it gets matted up. And, and so we'll need to work on this. Like I said, this is like straight from the bag that we were uh, um, throwing the fiber into. So that even hers needs to be worked, especially on the outside. They look so good now. You go out there and they all, you know, you can see. Because she looked black. She yeah, looked, they both look black. black. And when we get in there, you can she's see she's actually gray. a light gray. And now they look like little, you know, the little babies when they have the little bitty curls <laughs> all over. Yeah, yes. they're all curly yeah. and stuff. So, yeah, they they, they got a good, they look good now that they got their hair cut. And they and look they happier. they've forgiven us. Yeah. They're happy. <laughs> They'll let us come and pet their ears and, you know. Give them some attention, but you know. So I, I wanted to show that you know that was that was our uh, our goat fiber, our uh, mohair, 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 my goatee. <laughs> <sighs> so oh, we are at a farmers market. Farmers market. Flown, or we don't have a flown with Nothing flown. I told yeah. you, ain't nothing gonna fly for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need that. Uh, <laughs> I gotta have the sound effects going. I forgot what I was doing. Rosie Retro, I mentioned her again, which is Tabs, has a coupon code 10% off Rosie Summer until. Ooh, ooh. Pretty, <laughs> she's got some pretty fibers in there. So she's got the 10% off coupon Rosie Summer until June 1st. So go check her out. And then I also wanted to mention the Mayflower shawl that I showed last week, um, which is Angel McGarris pattern. And if you use the code SHAWL4, you can receive a dollar off until May 31st. You're looking at me weird. Who? Well, not the, them. The they viewers, they're me. looking at you. <laughs> they probably are always looking at you. How you like that one? Who's looking at you weird? It's yeah. Kari. Kagi, yeah. Tim, you quit looking at me like that. <laughs> I was just looking See, down her, at the I fibers. See, I can harass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at all the fibers that she's got. Mm. And it will look pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at all the mm. yarn See, that I'm you're right. drilling over. I know. So. <laughs> Start shopping. <laughs> That's what you said. Uh, and then... Uh, Girlfriend's Knitting, this just reminded me because I saw the stitch markers. She just put up some new uh, stitch markers the other day. They're little gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so cute. So she's putting some new stuff in her shop. So if you want to go check her out. Cool. Yep. And I didn't to market. No. Nothing to market. No, can't. The only thing I went to market was concrete. A whole bunch of it. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you guys want to hear about that again. Then squeal like a pig. I got a squeal like a pig today, and I don't even have it on my list. Uh, the boys got me a bracelet for Mother's Day, and it's I love. It says I love my Chihuahua. <laughs> so it's a little dingly. So if that's what you're hearing, and it's got a little pearl, which is actually Jimmy's birthstone. 
and then a little bitty heart. Yep. So, yep. yep that was Mother's Day Mother's gift. Day. Yep. Which I've had in my favorites on Etsy yet for a long mm. time. So I surprised you. Yeah. Or Fuji and Jimmy surprised you. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then this week, Christine, she's also known as KDLB, and she has KDLB.com, and you also might know her from the audio podcast, Yarnings. She gifted me The Old Man and the Sea, which is M. Ski Knits pattern of the single-handed Single-Handed Knits podcast. <laughs> I'm getting all the... <laughs> it's all these words. And then this is a cardigan that she's designed. I'll show this one. This will show it really good. This looks like a really fun knit. So she gifted me this this week. This would be perfect here, and I've already found the perfect yarn. Because <laughs> it takes a uh, sport weight, and uh, so I, I instantly start looking. And I found this knit. Uh, the Knit Picks Galileo that I'm using for my palm to pin. I, it's with my shirts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see myself. <laughs> uh, my palm to pin is done out of this Knit Picks Galileo. And uh, I just, it's so soft because it's like wool and bamboo. And uh, I saw this color. It's called Pearl. And oh, that's what I eventually want to get in the do the old man in the sea with it just it's like oh that's it because yeah, it's a soft those. sea foam green mm -hmm. and it's it's shimmery kind of silver and it totally reminds me of like when you're looking on the ocean and you know just the foam and stuff stuff on top and yeah, that'll look good mm -hmm. and good i and i love knitting with this yeah so yep so that's what i want to get so the, the plan is, is the plan Maybe you just need to get it all together and find a bag to put it in. Huh? I don't know. Well, I need, I, I'm insane and have two sweaters on the needles right now, so. Which I'm not the only one. Can't be 913. <laughs> Calling them out. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're on the crazy train. Oh, I think I said we're on the crazy boat together. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you have to learn to knit with your toes and you mm. get both. Yeah. So where am I at? In the arena. See, I told you I'm going quick. So yeah, I gotta get yeah. where I can see the number. <laughs> <laughs> In the arena. This week I found another new to me podcast. It's not new because she has 33 episodes out. And it is called The Dyer's Notebook. And her name is Laura. And she's a Texas girl. And she is Jinx, G-Y-N-X, on Ravelry. I think Ravelry, Twitter. Twitter, she might be Jinx Yarns. Uh, hmm. She has all that information. <laughs> <laughs> and it, the, she has. She does have a Ravelry group. This is on iTunes, so that's mm -hmm. how I was able to find it. And I'm having so much fun with this podcast because I'm learning a lot. Mm -hmm. Because she goes into, she's her college degree and everything is in... I guess, I guess it'd be art, but mm -hmm. she goes into the detail of color theory of the supplies she uses for dyeing to showing how she does different techniques to get different things for her yarn. She mm -hmm. does a whole uh, episode on self-striping because what a pain in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's just... They're ones you can just keep going back over. Yeah, because they're know? instructional. So yeah. you can learn from the techniques she's talking about. You know, and what she's had difficulty with. Mm -hmm. And she did one on um, oh, their, uh, it's ugh, silk stuff. Oh. Scarf, like a silk scarf and different ways to... Uh, dye that and ha it's neat seeing that how the dyes react to different things and no oh, and different she tells you the types of fiber yeah, and stuff like that the brands of the different i mean everything you want to know about dyeing this is it i hmm. mean it, and it's so much fun and she has a shop called jinx yarns 
And uh, how I found this was someone is using one of her yarns for our bim along. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so pretty. And she gave the uh, name of her shop, Jinx Yarns, and then also that she's a podcaster. Jam, Jam L Knitter, Jam L Knitter, Lisa. She's the one that had posted the uh, info. And this is uh, her shop. I'll show you some of her colorways. It's very vibrant and, uh, you know, and I've gone back to episode, starting with her episode one, because it's always what I do when I find podcasts. And so I'm seeing some of her older colorways too, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> and right now, every day she's uh, doing a $5 off. So if you follow her on Plurk or Twitter, you can see which... Oh, the discount Which code discount uh, on the shop is of that day. Hmm. But, I mean, they're just beautiful. Lots and lots of color. I mean, she oh, has she's... seven pages of... What were you going to say? No, I just uh, mentioned seven. I, yeah, a just of... tons. She has, uh, I guess I can tell you, lace. She has lace weight, BFL sock, merino sock, single merino, glitz sock, strong sock, luxe sock. A merino DK. She has self striping organic merino. There's some more. And I, I know she's done a club before, because that's the episode I'm listening to. I think it's episode <laughs> number 11. So, yeah, it's. Ooh, I haven't seen all these ones. So, yeah, there's a lot to look at. Seven pages of. Uh, Yummy. So go give her a watch and uh, yeah. I'm having It'll fun. It'll be interesting. With it. Maybe yeah. I'll, I'll watch that one too. Just because to you're kinda, real into the colors I like, and I like to figure out how things are, are yeah. done. So I said, like we said at the beginning, I get the things, I take them all apart. Mm -hmm. This I I can uh, hear the technique and how it's dyed. So yeah, but you I know, get she, my gears turning. The hand painting to the submersion and you know just different. It even, because I've never really, eh, you mm -hmm. know, this makes me want to, ooh, I'm going to go do try that. It, huh? I'm going to go do that. Do it for I fun. mean, I've done it with Freckle Face Fiber in her studio, and mm -hmm. that, I had fun doing that, but she moved so, away. Yeah. And, it's a lot of, lot of work. Yeah. So. A lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I have enough. <laughs> I have enough Yeah, work. we, like we said, we never bored. <laughs> we don't need another hobby on there, so. Yeah. So, that... <clears throat> my throat kind of went dry. Mm. Um, I also wanted to... I think I need a drink because I hear a little you. frog coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Welcome to the farm. Yeah. The Knitting Brooklyn podcast is still having the preemie hats until May 29th. So you have a little bit more time for that. Um, wanted to give a shout out to Sheep Dreamery who is uh, giving away a skein of her gorgeous yummy yarn on our hatching it contest each month and I look forward to seeing what Polly picks and Polly 81 of the Polly mm. Knits podcast because he was our winner for that oh, for yeah. April so I look forward to see, seeing what see he See which picked. one he's yeah. choosing out of the shop. Huh? Uh, our, I've already mentioned our Martina, oh the Desert Vista for the month of May you can use the code WOLF15 to get 15% off if you want to use her yarn for our been along, mm -hmm. and that's a two month knit along May and June. Mm -hmm. And uh, what the duck? What the duck? What the duck? <laughs> what the duck is? I wanted to just mention out there so you guys can be thinking of things that you might want to knit for. I was going to do just July and August, but I might have it overlap with our other one and have it June, July, August because yeah. that's summer. Because we're going to do SOS. <laughs> Summer of Stuffies. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the toy knit along. The toy knit along because I have tons of patterns I've been gifted and uh, stuffies. stuffies. <laughs> and uh, you know because I have some Rebecca Danger. You mm -hmm. have a Rebecca Danger, and I was going to just have a Rebecca Danger along where I could say danger, danger, danger. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, so, something we always joke about. We'll still let you say that yeah. even though, but. Uh, but yeah, then I have of... a lot of Susan Claudino <clears throat> patterns that I'm wanting to knit. She's no knit Sherlock. And so I'm like, oh, whoa. 
you know, and then I, I have Jenna's patterns, Jenna Krupar retro lemons, so it's like any. Yeah. Well, if you leave <laughs> it open, Susan yeah, you're saying if you, you leave know, it open, book and <clears throat> yeah, so. if you leave it open, then then it leaves it up to the, so the viewers to choose to. Plus, you know. I get to see more of your cute things, and then they get added to my cute. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say that's how they get added is you start seeing stuff that you didn't find, and then someone else yeah. is knitting it. So, like Melia Bella just finished <clears throat> a sweater today, you know, and was modeling it on Instagram, and I'm like mm, into the queue. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's fun. Yeah, so and if you're not on Instagram, you should be because that's so much fun. I like seeing all the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now I'm just getting all excited. Yeah, I, I don't know why. It. Full energy. Full energy. Right for the finale of the podcast. Yeah, I know, huh? <laughs> the beginning of was not there. Yeah, it's because I was doing all the talking, so. So, yep. Okay, and then so. in August, there's also uh, a, uh, August, <clears throat> September, a knit-along in the works with somebody. So, yeah. Until we get of... more details and... I can mention that that was a lot surprise. of stuff coming for summer. So, getting you warmed up. Summer of fun. <laughs> well, what's that song? It's a it's a summer of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear, I'm hearing the tune. I just can't. You're talking the about B52s. The uh, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. We, but, it's thank a, you. At least song. You. I know I can find the album. Well, it's because we're sure old. We we're young. We stopped aging at 25. Yeah, that's that's when our senility sit in, and we don't remember any birthday past 25. So. Well, then I get my kid always saying, oh, how old are you, 50, 55? Yeah. A little turd. He's <laughs> that sums him up right there. <laughs> now he's getting bigger. He's, he's getting taller, so now he's a big turd. Yeah. <laughs> Good old uh, farmer Jim. That reminds me, Joanna Springs in her shop had... Uh, Stitch markers of different animal feces. Nice. <laughs> Should have got them. <laughs> but just the things that pop up into my head. <clears throat> you wanted to know that, didn't I you? I guess that she probably wouldn't like me knowing, thinking of her as her feces <laughs> stitch markers. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Joanna. <laughs> so. It really, literally, be dingleberries. Huh? <laughs> I think we better wrap this yeah. up, huh? <laughs> Before we get too strange. We've had no beer yet. <laughs> yeah, see, now you know why we don't need to drink beer. We, <laughs> we have enough fun without. So, yep. so anyways, I wanted to uh, remind you uh, that uh, for mm -hmm. the next week, Monday through Sunday, you got to try our cupcake lip balm, our new addition to the shop for free. Use the coupon code TRYME. When you order $10 of other items uh, or more and uh, just add that into your cart, use the coupon code and it will discount uh, that so it'll be free for you. So you got that uh, for the next week. I'm getting the, the, the hook, you know, <laughs> getting pulled off the stage here. But, uh, and then also, don't forget you get a free podcast button with any paid order. Uh, just put in the comment section that you'd like a video podcast button. We'll be happy to send that along so you can decorate <clears throat> your knitting bag or your uh, toy. Your toy. Um, and you but, can knit that toy in our SOS. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, see, it all wraps up. So we, we got to get out of here before we get too much more crazy. But <laughs> Yeah, we behave for the podcast. Yeah, we, we take it down a notch. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it, it comes back out to the serve. You gotta take keep it keep it refrained. So, yep. so I guess that uh, about does it for this uh, episode. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so this, until next, this is your turn. I'm like, well, what did I do? You keep knocking me in the leg. <laughs> no. Like this is your part. So until next time, let's get cracking and hatch a net. <laughs> <laughs> <Bye, y 'all. laughs>